We're gonna measure shoulder extension, active and passive range of motion. So go ahead and bring your elbow up towards the ceiling. So we're gonna make sure the elbow is flexed to avoid maximally elongating biceps brachii. Uh, we also wanna make sure that our patient stays in the sagittal plane. So go ahead and try that again. Oh, very good. So our starting position is gonna be the humerus is parallel with the lateral midline of the trunk. So you can go ahead and raise your arm up again. Perfect, and then we're gonna take our measurement. The reference arm is gonna be parallel with the lateral midline of the trunk, and our indicator or distal moving arm is parallel with the humerus. You can also measure this passively in this position. So um, again, we want the elbow to be flexed. Extend the elbow, spring against the barrier. You can estimate our range to be about 60 degrees or so. And then we're going to use those same landmarks of lateral midline of the trunk and midline of the humerus.